So there's, there's been no shortage of controversial topics in, for schools lately, right? And I think one of the biggest challenges that we face is the globalization of schools and how that's impacting things that are happening in their district and how that's impacting things that are happening in the classroom. People did not get an education to be politicians. They got an education because they love kids, they're nurturers, they want to teach, they want to students to grow, they want to make connections and relationships with students. So to me, that's what's the most important, are those pieces. I think when it comes to critical race theory, I do know about it. I, it's, it's hard not to. It's, it's been in the news, right? It's been in the media lately. And it's been a hot topic in a lot of districts. Um, when it comes to critical race theory and some of these other things, I think the most important thing that we can do is provide a safe space for people to share their perspectives on what that is. Um, take opportunities to learn and grow from different perspectives and points of view around these topics as a, as a group. Right? So my perspective, my point of view might be different than, than hers, but creating a space for us to have a dialogue about what that looks like and what it means and why that's passionate, why I'm passionate about that particular topic is important. So creating that space to do so, uh, I think keeping students at the forefront of these discussions and trying to keep them away from politics as much as possible. Um, if we can make decisions that are in the best interest of students, that, that's really what's most important. Okay. And therein, therein lies the challenge, right? That, that, therein lies the challenge because we have different perspectives and different viewpoints on a lot of these uh, societal issues. And um, I was telling this to the group earlier today that no one ever walks away a winner, right? The best that we can do is try to understand and learn from each other on these different perspectives and these different theories. Um, but no one's gonna walk away feeling good um, about the decisions that are made, right? Because we, we, we can't, it's very difficult to make both sides of the aisle happy or content no matter what decision you make as a district. So the approach for me would be to try to hear as many perspectives as possible, hear those points of view, use those as learning opportunities for people in the community so they can learn and, and have dialogue with each other about some of these critical topics, and try to keep the politics out of it as much as possible, and just focus on what's in the best interest of students in KUSD. Um, and there are some things, I'm not, you know, there are some things that come down at the state and the federal level that we have to, we have to implement, right? We have to look at. But I would also say that when we develop policy, we can still implement state and federal requirements, but the way that we craft policy can also be flexible where we're trying to meet the needs of everyone that may have a, 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 an opinion on these matters. So implementing what we're required to implement, of course, but then creating board policy and empowering the board with the information they need to make policy that um, can try to be as most effective for as many stakeholders as possible.